We all know a lot of thought goes into the royal family's stunning wardrobes. But did you know, a lot of their outfits have hidden meanings too. Here, we look at what you might have missed in their well put together looks. In March, the Queen and her family attended a service of thanksgiving for Prince Philip. Her Majesty, the Duchess of Cornwall and Princess Anne all wore Edinburgh green, Philip's official livery colour. It was a sentimental tribute to the much missed Duke. In March last year, Harry and Meghan's bombshell sit down with Oprah Winfrey aired, but many will have missed one of the interview's more subtle messages. The Duchess of Sussex wore a bracelet which had belonged to Prince Harry's mother, Princess Diana. This was so Diana could be with her and Harry on the day, potentially showing that she would have supported them in their decision to step back from royal duties. The Duchess of Cambridge is also known to pay homage to her late mother-in-law. Most famously, she inherited Diana's iconic sapphire engagement ring. But perhaps the most heartwarming of tributes took place after Kate gave birth. In 2013, after welcoming Prince George into the world, she was pictured outside St Mary's Lindo Wing in a blue polka dot dress, just like the one Diana wore after Prince William was born. Kate kept up this tradition when Prince Louis was born too. One of the more obvious wardrobe choices is to wear the colours of a country's flag. Kate is known to win over her host this way. She did it during visits to Belize and the Bahamas this year. And on previous trips, she has worn the colours of Pakistan, Denmark and Scotland. The royal family goes to great lengths to remain politically neutral, but some royal watchers think the Queen broke that rule when she met Donald Trump in 2019. The monarch wore a tiara adorned with 96 Burmese rubies, which are apparently a symbol of protection against illness and evil. Similarly, one of the more outrageous claims is that the Queen opened Parliament after the 2016 Brexit referendum, deliberately wearing the colours of the EU flag, and a hat bearing a strong resemblance to it. This apparently proved she wasn't happy with the outcome of the vote. Our final favourite look is Princess Eugenie's wedding dress. She looks stunning in a Peter Pilotto gown, but the dress was particularly special as it had a low back to show off her scar. As a child, Eugenie suffered from scoliosis and underwent eight hours of surgery to correct her spine. Eugenie said this had become a key part of her identity, one which she didn't want to hide on her wedding day.